All right. Oracle Spectre, God of Extinction. Lyric video. My dude, Josh Rivera. Came out in 2022, by the way. Okay. Pull this over here. Nice little monologue here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Vocals sound <laughs> very good. Okay. This reminds me of like Crown Magnetar, like not totally. Because, like, it obviously has, like, some of, like, that Lorna element, but, like, there's definitely some Crown Magnetar going on here, too. I'm gonna have the best clickbait title for this video. Oh my god, dude. I cannot wait. See, that's very Crown Magnetar, I feel like. This is so many different styles of deathcore in this one song, and it's leaning way more towards the styles that I like, which is sick. The mix sounds great. the layers there that was sick. I was hoping for a low we got both These vocals are fucking crazy. Bro. 
Yeah. That was dope. Yeah, because... All right, so here's the thing, right? Like, I'm looking at the song, like, I'm checking it out, and I see, you know, 519, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Because um, you know, I don't know what it is, man, but, like, whenever I see a longer deathcore song these days... Hi, kitty. Whenever I see a longer deathcore song these days, I always assume it's going to be totally Lorna Shore style, you know, with, like, the, the choir and, like, the all that kind of stuff. Um, but this had some of that, but not a lot, actually. Like, it had a lot more of, like, a Brand of Sacrifice, Crown Magnetar style of deathcore, which is what I really like. I didn't mind, like, the kind of the more Lorna Shore stuff thrown in. I thought that added, you know... Uh, elements to the side. Dude, my cat is going nuts right now. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, man, I thought that this was really sick. Like, I, I again, I didn't, I didn't know what to really expect because, like I said, I was expecting one thing. I got something totally different, and I'm here for it, man. This was super sick. Uh, this is off an EP called God of Extinction, so this is the title track. Make sure you check out his EP. And I believe that he actually just put out another song recently also on Slam Worldwide. Let's go back. Uh, Oracle Spectre. Yes, the Atlas and the Ungodly Plague. So make sure you check that out. That's a little bit longer. It's 651. He also put out a song featuring Devin Duarte of um, Worm Shepherd uh, called Reaper of Dreams, which I did a reaction to. Um, yeah, this guy, he, this sounds great, man. I thought that the mix was awesome. The vocals cut through so well. The vocals sounded mint, dude. Like, so sick. Like, I was a huge fan of the vocals. This is definitely going to go on my playlist, man. I, re I really, like, this wasn't like a song that I'm like, yeah, man, you know, like, I liked it. Like, this was cool, blah, 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 blah. Like, I will listen to this again. Like, this was dope. Even though it was, you know, a lot, a lot longer than what I'm typically accustomed to. Like, it just did such a nice job of, you know, letting the different styles come in. You know, the the like, letting the song breathe. And just the vocal delivery on some parts just smashed, man. Like, the kind of like the elongating the words and stuff like that. Big fan. Check these guys out. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. See you later. Bye.